everyone, welcome to this new video. Today, we will learn about Data Cloud and Einstein Studio, and more specifically, the uh, large language model prediction that we can establish. So I will directly jump into uh, Einstein Studio, as you can see here, and I will create a new uh, a new model uh, prediction. So for that, I will uh, have different choice. I can use uh, Amazon SageMaker, which is the place in uh, Amazon or AWS where we predict a uh, model, where we build large language model. We also have the Databricks model, which is another platform, and Google Vertex AI model, which is uh, a sort of platform available. So I will be clicking on uh, this, and then I will click Next. Here, I will have the possibility to um, configure uh, my model. So I will just give you a bit of context what I will be using in this scenario is the data uh, model object uh, market active market activity um, from journey builder in marketing cloud so oh, sorry so as you know in marketing cloud uh, we have what we call the journey and each step of each journey are represented into uh, this data model object so i will click data model just to give you a quick view and here i will need to find it out so it's called market journey activity. Okay, so market journey activity. Here it is. As you can see here, I can I can uh, visualize all the different step uh, of widgets in the journey builder of marketing cloud, and I can read them here. So, for example, uh, start activity or uh, one hour wait or stop or like Christian test one, which is one of the consultant from Sky that did the test. So this is what we will be using, and we will try to predict um, from which business unit in marketing cloud the activi activity is triggered from from the future so i click here in model builder and i will just select my object my data model object market journey activity and then i will be clicking next okay so as you can see i have 574 record which is what i need i need more than 400 record so all good i will click next then i will select a goal uh, I will say that it's for my internal organization, so the business unit uh, from Marketing Cloud. As you can see, I have two types of business unit, one with a not huge number of journey builder activity, and the other one with way more uh, journey builder activity. What I want to do is to expand uh, this number of uh, um, like internal uh, organization activity in the future. So I want to have more uh, of my journey builder activity that are appearing uh, in my business unit. So I will be selecting the one that contains the most. I will be clicking on next. And then I have a few variables that are available. Okay. So this seems to be uh, the variable. So I will have uh, where uh, it's coming from, the name of the activity, when it's created, when it's modified, uh, which business unit is it for internal organization, the data source, and the uh, market journey ID. So I click next. Now I can either let uh, Einstein use the best algorithm or I can select the one that I want. So uh, XGBoost is a large language model that is pretty efficient because it doesn't require much resource. So this is the one that is advised by Einstein and that will totally do the job. So I can click on next. And now that all the steps are completed, I can simply click save. I will give it a name. Uh, zero two, okay, and I will click save train. Now I should get uh, a screen that let me know that the model will be loading for the five next minutes and that I should come back later. Okay, so once we have done that, what we will do is we will also um, explore like the model that we are using. So as you can see, this is all the fields that are available within the data model object. That seems pretty interesting, and uh, we can also click setup because what we want to do is to have prediction and we want to use the prediction used populated from this data model into uh, Salesforce. So there is a few different way we will be able to use that, including flow. So I will just wait that the uh, training model is loaded and I will come back to you in a second. Okay, so my model is now uh, populated correctly so I will have a few information that we will explore together regarding the accuracy of the model. So they will let us know um, where our model prediction are located uh, from 
like being perfect. And here, as you can see, uh, they say like the accuracy is too high uh, because like like it means that uh, the data is too not easy to define to predict, but almost uh, will occur the same way all the time. Um, so as you can see here, we have uh, some um, of the KPI. So for example, the number of row, the number of uh, value that are matching with uh, what we want, like the, the data source, like the business unit of the journey activity, um, the accuracy of the model, and uh, a range of other information. So now we can also see what are the attribute field from this data model that help uh, to understand, um, that help the model to predict the result, so the prediction of the uh, journey activity source. And uh, we have a range of other uh, information on how the model is predicting um, the, uh, the uh, result. So I can click on activate as I'm pretty happy with the result. And now I can go into the model detail page. Within the model detail page, I will be able to see a range of information. And, um, and I will also be able to see uh, how the model has been used so far and the usage. Uh, now, what we could do in this video is to see how to create a prediction job. So the prediction job will be, a, will be uh, like something that we add on top of the model to help us to predict the value either on uh, a one-off or on a daily basis. So uh, I will do like the prediction in the same, uh, in the same, uh, sorry, in the same, in the same uh, data model object. I will click next. After that, I will have to map the different field. So here I select the object and I will be selecting like similar object for uh, this demonstration. Here I will click name and last modify date. Okay, so that seems to be pretty good. Then I will click next. Now it's the interesting part. Um, now that we have created the data model object and uh, and that it seems to be working, like the prediction are working, it's activated. I will have two possibilities. First possibility is I use a streaming, so constantly uh, giving updates on the prediction, like refreshing the prediction on, I think it's like 15 minute basis or batch, which is more like something if you, we need a one off prediction, for example. So I will click batch and then I will review the different settings. Everything seems to be um, correctly set up and configured. So I will have, I will put prediction two and I will be clicking create. I might have an error when I click on that. Oh no, it's working. It's working. Perfect. <laughs> so as you can see here, this is one of the prediction that is available on this, um, on this uh, uh, like model created from Einstein. So what does the, the, the Einstein model will, uh, try to define where the journey builder activity from marketing cloud is from, business unit A or business unit B. And based on that, uh, once my model is set up, I will create what we call the prediction, which is the usage of it, how to use my model. And I will be clicking here, for example, to activate it. Here, I'm doing an activation. So as you can see, I have a small error. It's because it might be too soon to, to see the results, but it's calculating in the uh, background. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, just to show you like the setup, I can come back here if I want to see uh, the type of prediction. But for example, another type of prediction would be uh, how likely an opportunity will close in Sales Cloud. Okay. One last thing that I will show you is to click on setup. And within setup, I will go uh, in flow builder. So I will create a flow and I will just show you, I won't create the flow for this specific use case, but I will show you how uh, you can create a flow that is using um, the Einstein prediction model. So here, as you can see, we are creating a flow. So it will be a data cloud uh, triggered flow. So when something happened in data cloud, I will choose my data cloud object. I will select the object market journey activity. When the record is created or updated, uh, field 
I will say, uh, I will say, so I will just go back in Data Explorer and name. We will say one minute for the name. One minute, okay. So within here, I go into here and here I should be able to find name, okay? Equal one minute, okay? Tac, tac, tac. That seems to be pretty straightforward and correct. I just give a name to the flow. So uh, name, one minute market activity, TVT, one minute. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now I save the flow and what I will do is uh, I will just add a functionality. So here I can see my flow. As you can see, there is a range of different widgets available, and I will call an action. And this action will be located within Data Cloud. And within Data Cloud, I should be able to find uh, the like the um, model that we just created together. So if I go back in here, if I go in Einstein Studio, as you can see, my prediction model is market journey activity too. And I'm able to retrieve this as an action within uh, within the flow. So I could, I could potentially say, uh, create a flow that goes to all my uh, marketing cloud subscriber that check when a marketing cloud subscriber uh, unsubscribed from my instance. And uh, based on the prediction, I could retrieve which uh, which uh, journey it was from, or which activity from the journey make made this uh, this uh, subscriber unsubscribe from Marketing Cloud, uh, or at least when he, he, there is risk. So I can include the different value here. Uh, I might just tuck, tuck, tuck. I might not include them here just for the sake of it, just to show you. But here, here basically. As you can see in this flow, I'm calling my uh, Einstein uh, Einstein uh, model prediction model. So I'm like the flow will be able to call that uh, directly from Data Cloud from Einstein Studio. Um, I could use that in Copilot as well. There is a range of features where I can basically co query the prediction model and ask, "Do you think this is more likely to happen?" And uh, if the model says yes, then I can do a specific action. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video.